Do you see technology as the destiny of humanity, to quote Heidegger, or as the input to a new species, the cyborgs or the posthumans? In other words, using Catherine Hale's critical reflection, have we already become posthuman? So, as we look to the future with cyborgs or post-humans, um, yeah, I, I do think if we've got implanted technology as humans, we have implanted technology which gives us all sorts of new abilities, new sensory input and multi-dimensional thought, mathematical experience, memory, or so on, so on, so on, in an intellectual way. The, whether you call it post-human or cyborg, I, I don't mind. Um, it, you're going to have abilities way beyond those of a human. I, to me, it will be to the extent the difference of being what could be regarded as a completely new species. Um, as for when do we know? Is, is suddenly, are we in the form of post-humanity? I mean, we, even as humans, we've been changing in a very, very gradual way. And then occasionally there's maybe a, a jump in time. People look back and said when we were humans a long time ago, suddenly when we started to stand up and walk around, that was a big surge in our intellectual capabilities. Then more controversially, uh, the, the claim when we started eating meat because of the energy that it produced, even though there have been IQ studies which seem to um, support the argument of meat eating. It's not popular among vegetarians, but there we go. But there, there was more of a distinct change, and I guess that's the root of evolution, a, a slower gradual change with the occasional jumps to it. Now, it may be with the, the post-human era, it may be more of a, a jump that can be viewed as a jump and a non-linear shift over a relatively short space of time. But if we look back for the beginning of humanity, who was the first human? Was it suddenly, ah, oh, yes, now this is the first. He suddenly woke up, hey, I'm the first human, look at me. Well, of course, I, I doubt very much that it happened that way. It was more of a gradual thing and maybe a, a slight non-linear change. And, and eventually there was this group of entities that regarded themselves as being humans. More than likely, that's how it's going to happen with post-humans, cyborgs, that we will see a shift in certain groups, in certain um, areas. So groups of what may still be regarded as humans in the first instance start to have consequentially considerably enhanced abilities in comparison with other groups of humans and this divide gets bigger and bigger and bigger and then if that enhanced group does the sort of thing that um, Plato and so on spoke of of just producing offspring within that group and so on because they don't want to mess around with this other group down there who are stupid in comparison why should they bother with those people then that divide i would believe will get bigger and bigger and bigger until eventually the group that are cyborgs will say hey look at us we are cyborgs we're whatever they will decide what they're going to call themselves and so on and uh, the humans then will be left behind as some sort of subspecies, um, maybe even to die out and so on. But I, I, to say there is going to be one day on the 23rd of September 2015, we will have cyborgs then and then uh, we will have post-humans, whatever you like. Uh, ooh, that, that is a very, very distinct non-linearity. I think we're looking here more of a a lazy s, a slower form of uh, non-linear change that happens, even then it could happen over the space of decades, uh, certainly a few centuries, rather than, um, you know, within sort of 20 past five on the, that particular day, suddenly we have post-humans. I, I think that's uh, probably a, a rather sharp non-linearity um, if it went wrong the, 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 all over the damn shop. So... Uh, a, a, a slower non-linearity, but nevertheless, that, that's how I would see it. More based on how humanity came into being from its predecessors. And now, because it's technologically oriented, it probably will be a lot quicker, the change. But not quicker at a certain time. Oh, yeah, right, we have post-humans now. 
I don't think it'll be quite that sharp.